New Kings of European Handball will be crowned tomorrow night with Serbia facing Denmark in the final in Belgrade. France fell by the wayside in the main round, so the gold medalist between the tournament hosts and surprise package Serbia. And last year's World Championship runners-up Denmark, champions of four years ago. Mome Ilic is Serbia's captain and top scorer. I've always said that we have good players, players with good individual skills, and I said that if we could add a good team spirit, we would win a medal. We've shown in this tournament that we have a great team and that we are a group of players who really combine well together. If we keep on playing as a team with this behavior, I think we can achieve something even bigger. The last Serbia medal won by the team under the banner of Serbia and Montenegro was the bronze at the 2001 Worlds in France in 07 and 08. The team hit an all-time low as they failed to qualify for all three big events. It's our first final for a long time. It's the first final for the Serbians on their own as a national team. It's a great feeling. We're all very happy. We're trying to stay calm. And that will enable us to make the final step forward. The final will be another difficult game. We played already against them in the first round and we won. But it doesn't mean much. This is a final. It's different. Serbia won that preliminary group match 24-22. Denmark went through with two points. Impressively, the Danes went into the main round with no points and still came through. Off their opponents, Mame Ilic says, the Danes have been improving. They started poorly, but they've improved. They have a great team with good spirit and qualities. It'll be hard, but that's what you expect in a final. Well, Serbia will have to pick themselves up after a bruising, gruelling semi. They beat Croatia 26-22. It was a fierce match, a fierce rivalry. Serbia won it. Like us, I think the Danes are also tired. We have a lot of injuries. It's a shame what happened to Zarko Sesum. When you play with such a great atmosphere behind you, you don't feel tired. You don't feel the pain. Well, this was Zarko Sesum in the uh, match with Croatia, the semi, who was hit by something thrown from the crowd. It's believed that the Serbian fan threw it and was aiming for a Croatian player, but Zesum, a victim of friendly fire. I expect even greater spectators, even greater performance for us, and I expect the goal, nothing else. The nightly success of the handball team has worked wonders again for Serbia's sporting profile. The squad have already exchanged good luck messages with Australian Open finalist Novak Djokovic and the national water polo team who've reached the final of their Europeans. It's, it's a big pressure, you know, for everybody because uh, this arena is big and uh, our fans is uh, passionate, you know. They have uh, strength and uh, players feel it. And uh, it's great strain for Serbian handball players, but uh, every every team uh, had uh, pressure because of the public. But I think that the Denmark players is uh, so cold, you know, li like a people. And uh, I think that for their players it won't be so tough. Serbia have never been this far before as an independent nation at the European Handball Championship. History beckons at home tomorrow. The Danes have reached their second European Championship final and their second in the last three editions. After a 24-20 win over Croatia in the 2008 final in Lillehammer, Ulrich Vilbeck's team are going for gold again. The Danes have improved dramatically the longer this tournament has gone on. A couple of defeats in the preliminary round and the main round. But they beat Macedonia, Germany, Sweden and then Spain in the semi-final. They've won four in a row. And they're on a roll. I think last time we met Serbia, we only made 20 goals. Uh, tomorrow we, we have to, to be better because uh, they have maybe the best defense uh, at this uh, European uh, Championship. Also a very good goalkeeper. So if we make, I think, 24, 25 goals, I think we will win the match. At 39, left winger Lars Christiansen is a veteran of the 2008 title winning team. He will play his 338th international match in tomorrow's final. We have to, to play our game and not concentrate so much on, 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 uh, on them. 
because they beat us in the first game and we didn't play well. But uh, I think we have a good chance, but but we have to, to play against 20,000 at least uh, more than only the team. So we have to be five or six goals better to win this game. Denmark wary of the obstacle in front of them, and that is Serbia's goalkeeper of the tournament so far, Darko Stanic, who's been outstanding. The key to this game is Stanic. If he's still able to have a 50% rate in terms of successful saves, it will be hard. We'll have to create more chances. Apart from him, there's Ilic and Vujin, two great defenders. But most of all, they have a compact team, and to play them in Serbia in this big arena makes it even harder. Well, the Danes know what they're going into. Denmark are looking to avenge their 24-22 defeat to Serbia in the preliminary group last week. Where can they improve this time? Uh, the strength is, is certainly our, our good defense and then we play very fast handball, uh, fast breaks um, and uh, when, we, when we come to the attack we play with a lot of uh, confidence and a lot of uh, uh, calmness and that's, uh, that's hard to play against uh, for a lot of uh, other teams uh, but uh, especially uh, the defense and the fast breaks that's our trademark if you can say so. The Danes individual versatility is what they hope will stand them in good stead. They too came through a grueling semi-final when Mikkel Hansen's goal with less than a minute until the buzzer enabled them to beat Spain 25-24. We have many strengths. I think we have a lot of players who, uh, who can uh, you know, play very well. Uh, it's not only three in the, in the attack. Uh, if uh, someone is not uh, playing well, only uh, just a new guy come in and then um, not always, but sometimes it's, he, he uh, plays a good match. So we, I, don't, I think, I think we are, we're not as tired as Serbia is. Denmark are back at the top table. They reached the semis for four European tournaments in a row before finishing fifth in 2010. Silver medal at least for them tomorrow. We are a very uh, proud uh, team and we want to, to do what we can do. We know more than three, three million is watching in Denmark and uh, we have to, to make not only ourselves proud and everyone. So. We can do what we can do and then we have to see how the result will be at the end. So the European Handball Championship concludes tomorrow afternoon in Belgrade. 14.30 CET, Croatia against Spain for the match for third and fourth place. The bronze medal game that and then the final 1700 CET, Serbia against Denmark. Highlights tomorrow evening here on Eurosport 2.